Colorado Falls State Park in West Virginia. Last night was pretty exciting. Um, big black bear came in, into town, um, cut a hole in the camper over there's cooler and terrorized the people in the tent over there. I got the chance to see it. It was right at the edge of the woods. It stayed there. It wouldn't leave. It was huge. It was the biggest black bear I've ever seen. Um, but it was pretty, pretty nice sleep. Okay, here's Mark eating his breakfast like, like the Native American peoples would have eaten. Pouring their boiling water into their freeze-dried pouches. Really brings your skin bags. Really brings you back, doesn't it? Makes you feel very primitive. Star date September fifteenth, two thousand fourteen. We're at Mammoth Caves National Park, and we're in the Mammoth Campground site uh, ninety-seven. Okay, we plan to do a Mammoth Cave tour today, which is the whole reason we came to this area. So we're looking forward to that, and from here, who knows where we're going to end up. Careful, this is really slippery. I said, what do you think? Awesome. Hey, that's cool. Okay, we're walking the trail right, right behind our campsite, Camp 97 in Mammoth Cave Campground. And it's actually a pretty extensive trail system. Um, that we came all downhill, which means we have to go all uphill. But luckily, it's only 0.8 miles um, back to our campsite. So. Actually, surprisingly, a very nice trail system. What do you think? Yeah, you, you panned really fast. Okay. Today is Tuesday. It is our last day in Kentucky. Yesterday we did Mammoth Caves. Uh, we got a little rain last night. The weather was really nice for camping, though, for sleeping. It wasn't too cold, wasn't too hot. So we're going to make, Jill's going to make us eggs, and we're going to be off. And I think we're going to Arkansas today. Oh, Jill's doing her exercise that keep her limber so when we're traveling on the road, we're in Arkansas. Okay, we're at Mount Nebo State Park. We got here last night um, late. We had no idea what we were in for. The fog was extremely thick. We couldn't see anything. I put a dent in my car. I'll show that to you. I'm um, backing in the space. We couldn't even see where these camping spaces were. Um, we had no idea what we were in for. We're driving up this switchback road, um, and it was kind of crazy. There was thick fog we couldn't see. We got all the way up here. We're the only ones in the whole campground. But there's one other group over there, which made it kind of scary because they're kind of weird. Um, but anyway, I'll show you when the sun comes up, but we are way high up there. I'll show you the view here in a minute. Let me show you what I did to my car. Okay, so trying to adjust that trailer in that space, I put a dent in here because I had backed in and then I pulled up a little and I squished the car up against one of those rocks. It's pretty tight. When we came in here, we couldn't even see. We didn't know this is a road. We didn't know where the campgrounds are, were, the camp spots. We had to walk around with a flashlight. Joe had to walk in front of the car. Um, if you can imagine how high this is here, it was really foggy. 
Okay guys, here's the view, maybe a hundred yards from our campsite. Um, this is a pretty tall mountain. We came up a really small switchback. It's really beautiful up here, but I can tell you coming up at 10 o'clock at night in fog that was so thick you couldn't see more than 10 feet in front of you. It was really strange. When I, uh, when I go back down, I'll try to get a video of the switchbacks. But uh, there you have it. And there's our two little companions. Just wandering around. They're, they're good little dogs. One's, one I think is a Mastiff. And then last night about, I don't know, 3 in the morning, some big lab came up to the camper. It was nice too. And I thought, oh God, it's a stray and we're going to get a new dog. But it wandered off. I wish it would come back because it was, it was nice. But uh, I guess that's what people do. They just let their dogs run around. But they're nice. The dogs are nice. Probably the worst wasping. Okay. The, the wasp sting that lasts, you know, maybe I a think. few days. Okay, but you don't need like. Could get you a little down if you've got out, you know. You want me to, here, let me open that up for you. No, that's all right. Don't worry about he it. Won't, he can't climb the glass. No, I know, but I, don't, I shouldn't be bugging you him. You want a nice clear shot? No. Come on, you know you want a nice clear <laughs> shot. Do you have these guys in Maryland? No way. <laughs> <We know. laughs> So like, how abundant are these guys? I don't know if they're like super abundant. I would say, if you're asking me, I'm gonna say that we have more copperheads than those guys. Okay. Okay, here's the head and there's the tail. And then would you folks like a receipt? This is, we're coming down the mountain. This is an 18% grade, but you probably can't appreciate that because there's a lot of fog, so you can't see down. You can't see anything this actually. Um, no obviously, fog. This is the road we came up last night, so we couldn't see any of this. Okay. I just wanted to say, these switchbacks, we came up in the fog. We climbed uh, up to 1,800 feet. That's where we were. That's where we camped. So, coming up in the fog, I just wanted to give you an idea how high we climbed. But Okay guys, this is Paladura Canyon in Texas. It's a little overcast, but I wanted to show it to you because we may not be able to get it tomorrow. I wanted to give you a little view. Here comes some truck hammering past me. Camp down in the bottom of the basin down there. Okay, here we are at the visitor center in Paladuro Canyon. It's coming an overcast day, so sorry if you can't see anything. Go ahead, look away. Yeah. A rafting. Yeah, sorry. It's not a problem. Like a rafting. Okay, here we are in New Mexico. Um, we sort of beat out the rains. The rains were coming from the south. 
southern New Mexico and then moving east. So we kind of got further enough west and north to sort of beat them out a bit. Um, we're heading toward Taos, New Mexico, up into the mountains. And uh, we're about an hour and a half um, from our state park destination, which is Coyote State Park. And we only have a quarter tank of gas, so we're hoping we make it to the next town. Okay, here we are finally in Taos, New Mexico. It's been a few days of traveling. We've done pretty well so far. We are at, where are we at, Jill? The oh, park are we at? <laughs> something Valley RV. I think we're at Taos Valley RV Park. Um, we couldn't find a good camping spot, um, so we ended up here right in Taos. And we're going to consider staying here a couple days. We may move on after a couple days. We don't quite know, but we're at least going to explore uh, the National Forest tomorrow. So, there you have it.
Today is Sunday, September 21st, and we left the RV park, and now we are at Pilar Campground um, in some recreation area. I'll get you the name later. I think it's Rio Grande. No, it starts with an O, actually. But this, it is along the Rio Grande uh, River. This particular campground has electric sites, RV, electric and water, and bathrooms with flush toilets, a little area where you can wash your dishes, and, and the camp host is really, really nice. His name is Jim. Um, there's a little trail up here beyond that toilet there, um, and then the road is straight ahead, and then the river is on the other side of that. So we're not nice and quiet here, nice scenery, um, we'll probably spend a night here, maybe two. It's $14 a night for RV site and $7 for tent site. Okay, this is the Aria Verde, I think, this is uh, Rio Grande Gorge Recreation Area, Rio Verde. Um, this is where we're staying, at the Pilar Campground. And this is the trail. Um, that leads you to the other campground with a shower and then also it leads you like a trail that follows the river. This is the Rio Grande River we're walking up on. Let's go down and take a look. We're ascending now from the Rio Grande River. This is a road, a dirt road, or unimproved road um, with switchbacks. And whee! <laughs> Not gonna be for good video, but uh, it's pretty. How far are we going up? I don't know how far.
Okay, here we are at the Rio Grande Gorge. Um, it's a pretty awesome place. It's right outside of Taos, New Mexico. And there's this light smell that comes in the, in the air, in the breeze. And we think it comes from all the sagebrush that's all around us. It's really kind of unique. Wait till it stops blowing. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Okay, here we are in Sand Dunes National Park, like I said. And we think that mountain over there is about 14,000 feet. The clouds don't look like they can make it over it. Um, we're glad we came. This is a pretty awesome place, to be honest. We're going to do some exploring today and see what we find. Okay, here we are at the base of Sand Dunes. All right, Jill's gonna try her first little slope. Watch out, I'm good. Watch out. All right, hold on, hold on. I can't steer this thing. All right, try to steer it. That way. Come on, let's go. I got feet, come on. steer right here. Oh, this is lame. Oh, you gotta lean back. <laughs> See that? See what I did? You gotta... Hold on a minute. That was... You gotta lean back. It'll go really fast. Don't be afraid.
do that, Jill. I would just let it go. Remember, if you lean forward, it slows down. Oh, shit. All right, Mark tried to get me some pine nuts, and he knew full well that there was sap all over the I place. I did not know that. Yes, you did. Those people told you, and he was all like, "Yeah, this is where, this is where they're in the really sappy ones." So then he got sap all over his hands. I mean, he looked like a kid who, like, had gotten into something he wasn't supposed to. Look at that. <laughs> You're ridiculous. I can't get it off. I'll fucking get the paper towel off. He's oh, do we have any alcohol? We have these alcohol swabs. No, That'll take off. <laughs> yes, we do. We had three of them. Remember we bought they're them? They're dry. They're all dried up. Jill. Okay, we didn't show you, but this was what I was trying to get at yesterday when I got all that sap all over my hands. These are pine nuts. The same that you buy in a store, unless they're the kind from China that you're not supposed to be eating that give you pine mouth. These are real pine nuts. And they come off of pinion pines. And around our campsite, there's all sorts of pinion pine trees. And they come out of these unique looking cones. And I don't know if you can see that, but right there, there's a nut in there. I don't want to touch it because it's coated with sap. And once you get that on your hands, it's kind of hard to get off. To get it off your hands, you need to use coconut oil or lotion. But I just wanted to show you that. This is Site 41 at Cheyenne Mountain State Park in Colorado, near Colorado Springs. Um, this site has fire ring, picnic table, and a hook. Well, actually, it's got sewer. We don't need that, but it's nice. We can just lift the trap and put our wastewater down there, or our sink water, rather. It's got electric and water. Um, probably about 10 miles outside of Colorado Springs. Um, here's a mountain peak right here. Firing, and it looks like there's more water over here, but I'm not really sure what that is. I don't know why we'd have two water hookups, but. Okay, here we are at our campsite in Cheyenne Mountain State Park. This will be our third campfire in all the time we've been on vacation camping. We started two or three days ago. I don't know if you can see it, but in the background here, you can definitely see the city lights. It's quite a big city. That's Colorado Springs over there. Here's Jill. Enjoying the heat of the campfire. Okay, here we are at Nob Nostra State Park, which is about 60 miles inside of Missouri when you're traveling from the west. Um, we got here about 9.30 last night. It's a pretty nice park. 
Um, you can hear traffic noise, but they've got uh, bathrooms with showers and everything, and you're underneath the, uh, the trees, so you don't get hit by the light first thing in the morning, but um, we're only sitting here for a few hours, and then we're going to hit the road again. I was just about to put the chairs in the car. It's our last day of camping. Mark's really sad about it. That's why he's got his head all down, his pout face on. Um, this is Houston Woods State Park in Ohio. And we didn't know it, but it was like Halloween weekend. So this campground is packed and we had like one of the last electric sites. And they've got it all done up in like all these Halloween decorations and it's pretty extensive actually but the kids seem to enjoy it they were up to like 10 30 and it's like eight o'clock now and they're all up having fun so good for them mark anything nope wish we wouldn't have driven all the way down here to come to this but <laughs> whatever <laughs> You're real witty when you're off camera. Is Jill afraid to drink her coffee? Because it's steaming. She scalded her mouth. <laughs> <laughs>